Hello class, this week uh, I want to introduce you to a new literary term and two new writing genres. So in week one we covered uh, plot and in week two we covered characters. Uh, this week in week four we're going to talk about symbolism and what that means and how it's used in literature. So basically symbolism is just where one object um, is meant as a stand-in to represent something else. And it could just be an ideal, it could be a thing. Um, there's a wide variety of uses of symbolism in literature. So um, I've given you a link to a video that will explain symbolism a little bit more and you can find that in the uh, homework schedule page. Now for the two new genres of literature, um, I'm going to introduce you to modernism and then a smaller genre called Southern Gothic. Okay, now both of these genres take place uh, around the same time that we've been discussing, which is around the turn of the last century. Uh, but now with modernism, we are moving a little bit more into the 20th century. Um, you're really talking about the early, early um, um, 19, uh, really like 1900 to 1950 about is when modernism was the most popular. So we are moving forward a little bit. Um, it is well known for the influence that World War I had on the writers for, for modernism and it even went in through World War II and beyond. Now last week in this uh, kind of introduction to the week video, I did give you a bit of a picture of all the changes that were going on in the world at the time. And a lot of that is still true leading up into modernism and these things greatly influenced it. So you will get a little bit more of a sense of the history of modernism. Um, I have another video for you to watch that's also in the homework schedule um, and that will explain modernism and its influences. And there will also later in the week be a video in the homework schedule that covers what Southern Gothic is. Two of the writers for this week that we are reading, um, O'Connor and Fitzgerald, were definitely well known for being a part of the Southern Gothic uh, genre. All right, so that's just kind of a brief overview of what we're doing this week. I'll let those other videos kind of explain these genres and terms a bit more for you and um, just keep them in the back of your mind while you're reading the stories and then when you're answering the forum posts. Um, and I will see you all in the forum.